Wow, just, just in the nick of time. But uh, how are we doing today? It's a great day for labor. Let me tell you something. I'm glad you guys are out here today, and I'm glad millions of Americans are out all over our country. Labor's obviously come under attack. And let me tell you something, that's not right, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a few reasons why. People think labor is a problem in our society. They think it's bringing down jobs, and they think it's you know some sort of legacy from a different era that we don't need anymore. That could not be farther from the truth. I'm gonna give you a couple of, of examples of why labor is more critical today than ever. And the first one is healthcare. If you're in a union, you get good health care. We want to talk about the challenges of corporations having to provide health care, low-income folks getting health care. The answer that we should be going all on is associations providing health care for themselves through unions. The other aspect we've got to look at is expanding organized labor into new parts of our economy. labor brothers and sisters up in Washington have been onto this for a long time and it's time the rest of the country realizes that in the IT sector and in the green job sector right now workers are being exploited and it's time that they unionize. Yeah. And lastly, there's something that's going on in our society that's very unfortunate. There's this anti-immigration sentiment. This whole notion that folks who come here, you know, don't have the opportunity to get involved and participate in our society. And I'm proud to say that labor for a long time has stood with immigrants to provide them a job and a way to assimilate into society and become productive Americans. That's the coalition we need to have. So thank you so much for coming out here. And I want to thank you guys for your leadership in our state and your leaders that you send up here. Because time and time again, each one of your locals and each one of your unions has an active presence up at the Roundhouse. And that is the voice of the people. Let's give them a round of applause.